Klaus Kroll, the last Austrian to win a downhill. That was last year, mid-January, in Wengen, Switzerland. And so he is the one man at age 31 who has a victory in downhill on this Austrian team. Very aggressive, well done up there. He's online. You know, this is a guy who's a soft, relaxed glider, kind of an old school Michael Volkoffer esque kind of downhiller. Big, but with a soft touch when he needs it. Now, remember, too, he was third here last year in Chamonix, so he likes this course. Whoa! Oh, into trouble there. But and comes out of it okay. Did you notice that down here? He did not go into the soft snow at the finish. It could have gone a lot worse, but dropping time to Eric Gay, and Gay wasn't very fast up above, so he's 2,300s off the pace of Gay. He would have been way behind Houdet's at this point. Yeah, that's right. So he's got to do everything right, and we saw that it can be done. Time can be made up down here. Headed in the right direction. Gay, though, brilliant on the bottom. Let's remind everybody again that this is also something about the skis you have under your feet. Did you choose the right wax? Is the base... Uh, you know, the right kind of grind for this snow. I mean, all these things, as well as the pilot, make a difference on this course. Well, you pointed out Eric Gay down to 180 pounds. The bull from Oblom, 210 pounds. So there's a difference right there. A little scrub in the final turn, keeping it close. Kraus Kroll gets it by 8 hundredths of a second. And so the Austrians go into the lead. A narrow lead. But he gets it done at the bottom. I thought Gay was going to outski everyone on the bottom. Not so. Yeah, well, unbelievable. And he shakes his head because he had a huge bobble up there on what is really the crux turn of this course. Classic Kroll, though. Look at that. I mean, his head's down. He loses his downhill ski, pulls it back together, and exits that turn probably better than anyone else. Klaus Kroll goes into the lead and gets the victory by one one hundredth of a second over Bodie Miller, picking up his third World Cup downhill win. Just close, the winner!